If you're in debt and don't want to stay in debt forever, this video is for you. You might have seen ads all over the internet saying that they have the secret for you to get out of debt fast, like very fast. Unfortunately, the reality is unless you win the lottery, get a seismic cash gift, file a chapter seven bankruptcy, or significantly increase your income or significantly reduce your expenses, there may not be a quick fix to get out of your debt. Because as we all know, most quick fixes are neither quick nor a fix. But let's go over five common debt traps that can keep you in debt forever. So we're gonna cover five ultimate debt traps to avoid. Let's get started. Welcome to the Ascend Finance YouTube channel where we specialize in helping people get out of debt cheaper, easier, and faster. My name is Ben and I'm one of the co-founders here at Ascend. And just to be clear, this video is for informational purposes only and should not be construed as financial or legal advice. And with that being said, in this video, I'll cover five sketchy things to look out for and get out of debt fast schemes. Watch until the end and I'm actually gonna share you three crucial questions to ask yourself if you are ready to get out of debt quickly. Also, I know this video is kind of like a bear of bad news, so if you don't like just bad news and you wanna see a video on how to get out of debt quickly, my next video is going to cover just that. So please consider subscribing and hitting that bell so that you will be alerted about the next video that I shoot covering how to get out of debt quickly and legitimately. The first sketchy thing to look out for are pre-qualified consolidation loan mailers. You may be getting to a point where most of your credit cards are maxed out and suddenly you start getting mailers upon mailers saying that you're pre-qualified for a low interest debt consolidation loan. The mailer could look something like this. The best thing about these loans is it says that you're pre-qualified for an interest rate of three, four or 5%. It sounds great, right? The problem is when people call in to apply for this low interest loan that they are pre-approved for, they find out they actually don't qualify for a loan. Instead, the representative tries to push them into a debt consolidation program, also known as debt relief. In other words, they try to bait and switch people into something that they don't expect. And that is a big red flag. So I have yet to see anyone actually qualify for a loan from one of these mailers. And I've spoken with so many people about it and I'm happy to speak with you as well if you are going through this situation. Now, these debt consolidation programs can be a good option for some people, but it may not be the best option for everyone. Please consider taking the debt options calculator below to help you compare all of your options to make sure that you make the most informed decision that's personalized to your finances. Now, the second debt trap to avoid is scammy debt validation debt dispute companies. Debt validation is the process of disputing debt and asking your creditors to prove to you that they have the right to collect that debt. Now, it may be helpful to, to do that if you're getting charged for something you never spent. But if it's a legitimate debt, chances are it won't do anything. Unfortunately, there are some debt validation companies that may market themselves as a debt settlement or debt consolidation program telling people that they will help them wipe away their debt for a much lower monthly payment than some of the other options. So people sign up for these programs thinking that these debt validation companies are settling their debt or getting rid of their debt. But in reality, they're sending maybe a, a couple mailers letters asking for proof of the debt and then sit on those accounts and hoping that the debt goes past the statute of limitation without a creditor suing you. Now, if you somehow get past the statute of limitations for that unpaid debt without a lawsuit, then they might come to you and say, look, we've been able to get your debt forgiven. But in reality, they just waited past the statute of limitations and your debt was never actually forgiven or settled. However, the debt isn't forgiven 
And I've spoken to so many people who did not get what they promised by a debt validation and got left with a wage garnishment or a lien on your house. So it's important to note that if you really want to approach validating your debt, you may be able to one, do it yourself, two, look at a credit report and see which debt you don't owe and not use a company that is just gonna take a bunch of fees away from you and not actually resolve the debt. The third sketchy debt trap is ads that lie to you. I've seen countless ads that are pitching debt consolidation that straight up lie saying, you know, you're not gonna have to pay it back and you're not gonna have a huge hit on your credit, which doesn't make any sense. Because if you do something like debt consolidation where you go behind on your accounts, it's gonna impact your credit score and you're gonna have to pay some of it back in a debt consolidation program. So this one, just be aware that lots of ads promise the world, but end up potentially leaving you in a worse situation than you initially anticipated. You know, it's the famous saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So it's important that you consider doing your own research and seeing if a company is marketing or misleading you in a specific way and potentially looking at different options. The fourth debt trap that I see all the time are fake government ads. In these ads, it says something to the extent of emergency debt relief. And it says something to the extent of a, the, that the government has initiated some new program in 2023 or 2024 in Texas or California or wherever you are that you can qualify. And it's just another way that oftentimes debt consolidation companies are trying to get you into a program that isn't by the government. There's nothing related to the government, but it's just they use the government as a means to confuse you. If this is an ad that you've seen, check to see the sources of those and make sure that it comes from a .gov website with a legitimate government program. The fifth sketchy thing that I keep seeing is very high interest debt relief graduation loans with high origination fees. Now, if you're in a debt consolidation slash debt relief program, oftentimes I'm seeing debt companies pitch you these graduation loans to get out of your debt program faster. I've done another video where I cover exactly how expensive these loans can be, but it's really important to note that even though you start rebuilding your credit quickly, there can be a major cost to that and it's often a half truth. So if you're taking a loan out for 28, 30% to settle your debt quickly in a debt consolidation program, then you could be in a much worse situation at the end after paying back all the fees and it may, it may be much more expensive for you than just completing a debt consolidation program. Now, if that loan they offer you is very low interest and has a very low origination fee, then it might make sense. You actually may be doing better getting a debt consolidation loan program. Now, many of you probably haven't been at a debt consolidation program, but I want you to know that if you are, then that is something to at least consider and potentially avoid if you're gonna have to pay back way more than you owe in the long run. In many situations, I look at how long the website has been around using something called Wayback Machine. I'll include a link in the description below for that so that you can see if this is just a fly-by-night debt company that is just gonna lie to you and just a marketing company into something else um, or if it's actually a legitimate company. You can also look at their reviews and ratings on unbiased sources, potentially like BBB or Google, but that is something to understand to avoid some of these debt traps. I promised that I wanted to provide you three questions to ask if you can actually get out of debt fast. First is, do you know all of your options to get out of debt quickly? Yes, this is a plug for my next video that I'm planning to release next week, but I've seen countless people get into a legitimate debt relief option, but it might not actually be the right option for them which prolongs their debt burden for longer than necessary. One option that people may join and then understand another option is better is debt consolidation programs versus Chapter 7 bankruptcy, because Chapter 7 bankruptcy is often much less expensive 
faster and potentially can give you that fresh start quicker, but some people might get into one option and then totally miss out on another option. And it's actually one of the reasons why we created the chapter seven calculator in the, that I included in, in the description below to help you estimate whether you qualify for chapter seven bankruptcy and also can compare against different options such as debt consolidation, debt management, and debt payoff planning. The second question to ask yourself if you're kind of in a place where you cannot afford your debt and are falling behind and is whether you qualify for chapter seven bankruptcy. Now, if you qualify for a chapter seven bankruptcy and decide to file, you can wipe out your unsecured debt in three to four months with around $1,000 to $2,500 in attorney fees, which is often significantly cheaper, easier and faster than other any other debt relief option, which can take three to five years and be much more expensive. Now you may lose different items potentially in a chapter seven, but often you don't because of what's called exemptions that our chapter seven calculator often addresses as well. Now you're probably wondering, do I qualify? If you're not sure if you qualify, we build a chapter seven calculator that I just mentioned. I included a link in the description below that is 100% free and estimates whether you qualify and also estimates the cost based on where you live. It, the final question is, are you able to get a second job? Now, if you're able to get a second job and significantly increase your income, like we had mentioned before, you could potentially pay off the debt much faster and eliminate the interest that will accrue from that debt much quicker. Now for that, we actually build a side hustle calculator that is personalized to what's interesting to you. So let's say you have a car, you don't have a car, like you like art or something like that. We built it in a way that gives you side hustles that should be interesting to you and included a link in the description below for that if you're interested in that option. There you go, five things to look for when you're trying to get up debt quickly and want to avoid all the different debt traps and three questions to see if you're ready to get out of debt fast. Please subscribe if you found anything helpful and please give us or me a call at 833-272-3631 if you wanna chat about anything related to debt. We talk to people all day, most days, and we'd love to talk to you about your situation and see how we could help you get out of debt cheaper, easier, and faster. Oh, and finally, look out for our second video where I will cover a bunch of different options where you can use to actually get out of debt quickly. Thanks so much for watching and hope you have a wonderful day.